Good morning, friends. It's your friend Lee McCormack um, from Lee Likes Bikes. Uh, ha, da, da. Uh, and Ride Logic and Rip Row and uh, other things. Um, here's a thought. So um, I'm assuming we're similar in this way, but like I find that like, you know, my mind is a pretty interesting device. It does a lot of cool things and it does a lot of things that aren't so cool. You know, especially in the in the area of self-limiting beliefs like self-doubt, self-criticism, um, as making assumptions about how other people are feeling about me and, you know, interpreting their actions in ways that aren't accurate. You know, and it's like the brain's very powerful and there are ways to use your mind that are very useful and very helpful for you and ways to use your mind that aren't. And then our bodies are the same way and our emotions, which I know are a function of mind and body, they're the same way, although I think of them as kind of separate. And then it strikes me, it's like, well, hmm, what if we have a mind and body and some emotions, but we also, and we also have some other component of us, like our consciousness, our spirit, our soul, um, our slice of infinite perfect oreo whatever you consider that part of you to be, I think we have it, right? And so, like, and, and more and more I'm thinking like, well, we get, we're here, we're here in this realm, we're here. Like, we're here to do stuff. And maybe in a sense, we're here and we've signed up for Humanity 101. It's a course. It's an advanced course that has somewhere between zero and 100 units of credit. We don't know until we finish, right? And, um, and, and we're sent down here with these tools. It's like you sign up for, like, a class in school. Maybe you get a notepad and a pencil and an eraser, and those are the tools you have to kind of explore that class, right? So anyway, so we have here a mind, a body, and, and emotions. And we also have like maybe like the management of that is our, our spirit, maybe. And so like, you know, the other day, you know, I'm a normal guy. And so I was noticing my mind doing things that weren't helpful. And, I, and I'm noting, but now I've got space. I don't believe it. I'm like, that's a crazy thought. Or, ooh, that thought makes this feeling happen. Or... That feeling makes this thought happen, and it's made up. Anyway, but then it hit me. I was like, hmm, like, I don't identify as a crescent wrench. I'm not this thing. This is a tool I possess. I've had this crescent wrench in that toolbox since I was about 17 years old. I was, a, I was like a junior mechanic as a kid, and so this is a tool I used. And there are things that this tool is very good for. Generally, like tightening a big nut or bolt, that's not very precise. Awesome for that. So-so at driving nails. So-so at that. Horrible for driving like a Phillips head screw, right? It's a tool. If it's dirty, if it's scratched, if I can't find it, I don't get heard about that. It's a tool that I use. And if, if I've got like a, like a five, four millimeter Allen bolt to mess with, I'll go get a four millimeter Allen key. There's a specific tool. I'm not trying to tighten big nuts with an Allen key. I'm not trying to tighten Allen bolts with this freaking thing. Does that make sense? Like those are tools. There are ways to use them that are effective and ways that aren't. And like when it's outside of me, it's very easy to see that. Like, oh, you know what? I need to like, I need to put on some lip, lip, my lips are, are chapped because it's dry here. I think I'll use this one. There's, there's no value judgment in putting this one down. Does that make sense? So I'm starting to wonder, and I, this is a question as much as like a proclamation. It's like, what if our mind, our body, our feelings, however you want to parse those things, are just tools? They're just tools, man. And what if we can learn to use them in ways that serve us? Like, like understand things about our minds that will serve us and serve the people around us and do more of those things and understand the things that, that our minds do that don't serve us, especially like the negative self-talk and all the other funny business. So that's that. Like I'm asking the question, what do you think of this notion of, of this vessel being a tool that you have while you're here and um, learning to use it, and let it instead of letting it run you, you learn to run a question. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, I have to offer you, of course, the Namastoke, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.